Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ice back again, and I know I said first of all we were going to talk about Iwata, and we will, we will, but right quickly here I wanted to tuck in another little story into this video at the beginning here, which you might not know what this character is, hell I don't even know, but apparently Disney is working on an unannounced Wii U game, and these are the only things we know about it, the characters, cartoony looking, very Disney-ish, um... I don't even know if we know when it's going to be revealed. Um, but anyway, this girl named Carrie Maley, Miley, I don't know, is working on a Disney project for the Wii U. We don't know if it's an exclusive, but it might be. And, you know, it's still kind of nice that Disney is at least one third party that still likes Nintendo. Then again, Disney has always had a partnership, or not a partnership, but a friendship with Nintendo to begin with. So... I shouldn't be too surprised, and I still think that Star Wars Battlefront might come to Wii U because Disney, even though EA is making it, Disney owns Star Wars, and they might say, we like Nintendo. I don't care if you do or you don't, EA, you're going to put it on there. But anyway, let's get into our Iwata stories, shall we? First is Nintendo CEO Iwata says Amiibo potential has yet to be fully realized by consumers. <laughs> uh he says, We will continually propose different playstyles that take advantage of Amiibo, but first and foremost, we understand that we have to change the current situation where many people are still wondering what they can do with Amiibo, which is not true because everyone knows what they're for, except for Zelda and Star Fox, we don't know what it does there. Um, we will persist until consumers understand that they, uh, that they just need to tap the Amiibo figure and something will happen. We all fucking know that, we're not dumbasses. Uh, and will excitedly try it with a variety of software. If we can achieve this, Amiibo will become a precious possession for our consumers, which they... Hello, they already are. So we definitely want to bring it to fruition. But in doing so, we also understand that it will take some time. Iwata. The problem is not... Or the problem with Amiibos is not that we don't understand what they do. We know what they do. The problem is you're not making enough. We need more. How can we not, you know, how can the potential not be realized yet if they're fucking sold out everywhere? Now, granted, you might find a Pikachu, or a Kirby, or a Yoshi, or a Mario, somewhere, you know. But, so many of them, like probably 90% of the Amiibos that are out so far, you can't find anywhere. That's the problem. The potential of Amiibos is on your end, Nintendo. You're the problem there. You simply must make more. That's it. Make more, and they will continue to sell. Anyway, let's move on to his next story here, or next story with Iwata. Uh, Sitaro Iwata hopes that the quality of life, don't forget about that, remember we've talked about that before, will contribute to Nintendo-like profits in the future. So, he says, the quality of life project, however, is slightly different. As we had to create a new project and a new business model, we formed an independent team called the Quality of Life Business Development Department. In other words, we created a permanent project team in the form of a new department. People assembled from four divisions to create this department, and it reports directly to me. I think that this is all I can share with you about the development structure at this moment. Um... It is natural that we would like to earn an incremental profit from each new business we start. Obviously, you're not going to start a new thing and hope it fails. Um, as for the quality of life business, we expect it to contribute to the company's profits in some way in the physical year ending March next year, uh, 2017. However, you cannot expect a company that has been making all of its revenue from video game business, or the video game business, to suddenly turn out half its revenue through the quality of life business in just one year. This kind of change requires several years. Now, I'm going to stop right there. Because here, it kind of sounds like Nintendo is considering having just as much focus on quality of life, if it does well, as their video game software. And if that's the case, I don't like that. Now granted, it is just a secondary, or like another chunk of developers or whatever, not developers, uh... What do you call them? You know, a department. And it's separate from your video games. But Nintendo, do not focus too much on quality of life. Even if it takes off to the damn moon, like the original Wii, don't, you know, let it blind you and make you forget about where you came from, that you are a video game company above all else. We don't need you turning into Sony who, you know, had PCs and computer, or same thing, PCs and, you know, um, TVs and phones and all these other divisions that fucking miserably failed. 
I mean, they were good at one point, but they failed now. Stick with gaming, Nintendo. Stick with gaming. Um, our goal of the physical year ending March 2017 will be to make the video game business robust. From this perspective, I give first priority to the improvement of our core business, meaning the video game section, so that's good. In addition, I envision added profits from our new businesses, and then eventually we will be able to achieve Nintendo-like profits. That is all I can tell you today. Uh, so basically what he means by Nintendo-like profits is... The profit that the Wii make, or the Wii made, or that their software makes, you know, every all the money that they make from whether it's Amiibos, from you know Nintendo's titles like Mario and Zelda and stuff like that, they want to make that kind of money, that kind of profit from quality of life. Will that happen? I don't know. I really don't. But let's get into our final little blip here. Iwata, once again, Iwata, still believes that one piece of software could turn around their fortunes, meaning, you know, quote, save the Wii U. Um now, granted, he brings up a good point here with, uh, On another front, we have witnessed one single software title completely change the entire picture of our business many times. I believe one of the most impressive stories was uh, the time when people thought the Game Boy platform was virtually over. However, a software title called Pokemon turned things around for the platform and ended up creating the biggest annual sale for the Game Boy in the later half of the platform's eventual life cycle. Therefore, we do not believe that the situation so far means that there will not be a bright future. However, we should learn from our experiences of not being able to perfectly respond to certain social changes, such as changes in the way consumers collect and receive information. Although, this is sounding like a broken record, Nintendo, or Iwata. How many times do you say we should learn from our mistakes and then you never do? You know, you always, you're, you said with the Wii, we won't repeat the same mistake with the, or with the 3DS launch, and then you did. So, uh, you know, you gotta not keep saying that, you gotta actually, you know, really learn from your mistake and not actually do that again. Although the Pokemon reference, or, you know, I, um, fact was a good one to use. However, Pokemon, he's, back then, you know, was a new IP. That's what caught on. So I don't know if he's trying to say he thinks a new IP software will be, or be able to turn their fortunes around with the Wii U. If that's the case, then I'm guessing he is, you know, referencing Splatoon or something. However, I still think as I have before, that with each title coming out, you know, the Wii U will increase in sales, nothing will make it shoot off to the moon, just a little bit more profit, a little bit more profit, a little bit more profit with each new title. Zelda Wii U, of course, is going to help. It'll move some units of Wii U, no doubt. But there's still one title. One title. Where I've said this before, it'll sell 20 million Wii U units. Probably not realistically now. But if Nintendo had, you know, hyped it up from the launch of the Wii U, maybe it would have. And that one title that I think will significantly, or at least somewhat significantly, help Wii U out is Star Fox. Star Fox Wii U. Why? Yes. Oh, we haven't seen it yet. Oh, oh, oh. I know people are going to be saying that. How can you say that with a game we haven't seen before? Because Star Fox has been gone lo nine long years. There's a lot of people waiting to get a Wii U. They've said they're waiting for either Metroid, F-Zero, or Star Fox. People are underestimating the Star Fox fan base. And for nine years, we've been brewing. You know, we've been boiling. There's been a flame lit under our ass where we're like, Star Fox, Star Fox, we want more Star Fox, you know? And now that it's finally coming, we can finally explode with enjoyment. And so I honestly think a lot of people are excited for Star Fox, and they're going to get it. And as for, oh, we haven't seen anything, hello, it's being made by the damn creator of the franchise, Miyamoto. The best damn developer in the world. The best single developer, I should say, like, as in one man as a developer. <sighs> anyway, that's about all I want to say. I just wanted to say, I think Star Fox is going to help out Wii U. I've said that before, and I'm saying it again now. I'll probably even say it again. Probably around E3. <laughs> We're only a few months away from that. So, as always, I'm Original Blood Ace. Stay tuned! More videos coming soon, and we'll see you then.